there are changes to the face of America. Small, slow, but potentially hugely damaging. Nature is also incredibly complex, and we don't always know what the sort of the keystone species is, as sometimes people call them. So when you have a habitat and species start going extinct or becoming smaller in number, eventually that can cause the collapse of that habitat type. A new report from NatureServe pulls five decades of data from more than 1,000 scientists in the US and Canada, and it pinpoints areas where land is unprotected and animals and plants are at risk of extinction. Part of what's so important there is you have data that crosses state lines. And so a species might be endangered or imperiled in a certain state, but in the states around it, it's not. So what's at risk? The famous Venus flytrap found in the wild in only a few counties in the Carolinas. Half of all cacti might disappear and 200 species of tree. Habitat degradation and land conversion is also putting animals at risk. And all of this can impact humans. Another one of the, the groups of species that the report showed is really at risk is freshwater mussels. These are not species most people get excited about, but they play really important roles within the ecosystems. They're what filters the water and keeps it clean. If you care about going fishing with your son uh, or your daughter, you're gonna care about having clean, dynamic rivers. The fish that live in those rivers depend on that, that ecosystem service that those mussels provide. The report says there are nearly 1,250 plants in the critically imperiled category, the final step before they come extinct. And researchers say the government needs to step up with more money to create safety zones and protection areas before there's nothing left to protect. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera.